Hi guys, today I'm going to be getting ready for my vacation, which is going to be happening in a few days. So today I have to get prepped, so wax, self-care, etc. And then I ha also have to pack for the actual vacation. I'm going to be carrying just a roll-on, carry-on, and then a backpack of sorts. And then I also have to get my house situated because the worst thing for me is coming back to a uncleaned house so I need to get my house clean and yeah so because this is my only off day before I go on vacation I also have to do a few more things so so far I have booked like a few excursions for my trip so I'm gonna be going to Iceland Finland Germany and Italy so I booked a couple excursions for Iceland already so I'm gonna be going to the Blue Lagoon which you know everyone does it looks amazing i love the idea of like thermal spas and like spas in general so that should be fun and then i also booked a boat cruise to see the northern lights which will be great i've never seen the northern lights before so i'm excited about that so i did those two things did some finance related things as always today is february 1st so i went over my budget again and like factored in what i'm going to be spending for vacation and yeah that's what i've done so far so right now I'm gonna finish the rest of my coffee and then I'm going to be working out and then I'm gonna do my a waxing routine routine which I'll show you guys so right now I have the wax heating in the warmer so by the time I finish working out it should be done so today's workout is gonna be a weightlifting workout I normally weightlift on the weekdays and then do yoga on the weekend so I'm gonna do some weightlifting I've been kind of slacking on the weightlifting front honestly like I've been doing like once a week and I try to aim for two so we're gonna get this work in, workout in today and then hopefully we can get one in tomorrow and then I would have fulfilled my quota for the week. So uh, let's do that.
Okay guys, so we just finished our workout and I made a protein shake. So it's just frozen berries, some protein powder and water. Normally I put almond milk in here, but I'm out of almond milk. So yeah, we're just gonna make do. So we'll finish this and then we'll go get our wax on. Hello and welcome to my bathroom. So we are about to wax. So I usually wax my facial hair, on our arms, private parts and possibly my legs depending on the occasion. For this occasion I'm just gonna use Nair because it's quick and easy and it lasts a good amount of time. If I'm going on like a beach vacation or something like that then I like to wax because the hair growth is guaranteed not to be there for several weeks so that's an option but since this isn't a beach vacation I won't be doing that. So for waxing supplies I use Cerapil Blue. So this package here, and you can get this from Amazon. I also have a warmer and that's what I was heating up previously. And then other supplies needed are just wax sticks. So this is how the wax sticks comes. And then I split it in two usually to use for my face. So this is a split one. And then a tweezer for like any ingrown hairs that I spot or if I've waxed something and like a lone hair is left, then I just tweeze it versus like waxing again. And then I have this bootleg eyebrow brush uh, that I've had for years. So I just usually mostly use this part to brush my eyebrows up in place and then I trim them. And then finally, some scissors to trim stray hairs from my eyebrows that are like longer than they should be. So those are the tools that I normally use to wax. So let's get started. But first, lip balm. Okay, to start, I'm just gonna brush my eyebrows. I'll be like, that's like the best way to trim them because that's how I normally lay them anyway so I can see what's too long and what needs to be clipped all right that looks good and then I also forgot to mention that I normally use some sort of oil as well to prevent uh my skin from getting ripped off which really happens but it's just a nice preventative thing so this is just some oil i'm trying to get rid of it's some castor oil that i put in this ordinary dropper so I just add that to the ears that i'm gonna wax so i have hair between my eyebrows that i want to get rid of and then clearly my the arch of my eyebrow i want to get rid of the excess scraggly hairs and then i have a mustache coming in and then unfortunately i get like ray um Ray? No. Stray <laughs> chin hairs that I need to get rid of, so put some oil there as well. And then I have a little bit of excess oil, which I'm just gonna put on my armpits because that's the place that I normally move to next. So we'll just do that now. And then anything extra is rubbing here because my hands are dry. So let's see a wax consistency here. Pretty good. I'm gonna turn the warmer off. This is a little too liquidy. You can see it's like, maybe you can't see, but it's dripping down. One to stay on the spatula so it's a little liquidy but it still works so we're just gonna do the unibrow area first i like to work on several areas at once so i'll do you know while the other area dries so we'll do under here wax is moving so get rid of some of the excess and then that's just me getting rid of the string that sometimes forms at the ends because it's just kind of annoying it feels weird <laughs> on my skin so i try to get rid of it and then above the eyebrows. So the middle part's already dry by now. So we'll just rip that off. And then to get up any leftover wax on your skin, you just turn it to the shiny side. So this is the hairy side. So that's the hair side. And then this is the shiny side that you would use to get rid of the extra wax. Look at this. I just pull my skin taunt. That looks relatively good. I have a few gray hairs that I want to get rid of. So I normally go back over it with the wax. And then if that doesn't work the second or third time, then I'll just pluck them out. But I prefer to just wax them. I feel like waxing gets more of the bulb out, which, you know, decreases the chances of it growing back. So and then when I'm waxing above my eyebrows, I like to leave a little bit of a gap because Obviously, gravity is going to cause the wax to come down towards your eyebrow, so you want to start a little bit higher up so you don't get it in the eyebrow hairs. So that's that. And then we'll add a little bit more on the side that I just went over. See if I can get some of these scragglers here. And while those sides are drying, then I'll just move on to the upper lip. 
In that area, I normally do, as you saw, like away from my lip in a sideways motion because I find that it gets more hair that way. I used to just do like a straight down motion, but that doesn't, you know, get as much hair. So and then while that's drying, we'll just do up here. Looked pretty good. All right, there's like one straight hair on this side that I'm going to pluck, I think. This side looks relatively good no there's a straight here there too so we'll go over that side one more time this side looks good minus the straight here up here which i'm just gonna pull i'm gonna start working on the chin area so that can dry while we get the rest that looks okay well, we've got a little straight hair situation down here which usually happens because this is the shortest part of the strip so i just go over it again and then we'll flex the other side i got a few stray stragglers still on the chin area so another thing that i do is sometimes change the direction of the application so last time i went this way but this time let's try upwards see if that helps and that definitely hurts the mustache's uh, sensitive area, but it looks like it got everything on this side, so I don't need to repeat, so that's good. Let's move on to this side of my chin. Sometimes I have random chin hair and under hair too, so I just get on over there. All right guys, so we're done waxing my face. So let's just see if you, can, if you guys can see how that looks. Like, I'm not sure. So my eyebrows, the arches are clear. No unibrow, the top is good. There's no overextended pieces. And then the mustache is effectively gone. I mean, it's very sm small, thin hair, so it's not a big deal, but you know, since I'm already there, it's nice. And then the chin hair is removed. I do have like dark spots from ingrown hairs from those chin hairs which is very annoying but it's a work in progress so now that i've finished waxing my face i'm going to move on to something that i like to do once a week and that is the drunk elephant tlc sakura baby facial so that's how that looks and if you have sensitive skin it's probably like not a good idea to put this on after you wax in fact it's probably not a good idea to put it down after you wax in general but i've done it and it works well and it's kind of like multitasking like getting things done at the same time because yeah so we're gonna do that uh i normally do a pump for each side of my face so we'll do one up top one at the chin one here one here and then one at the nose and usually that's enough so this lasts a good while definitely worth the money you know if you wanted something to like maintain your skin in between your skincare routine this is a good one I'm being extra liberal with this because this I probably won't carry this with me on vacation because of the liquid rules. So this is gonna be my only facial until I get back, probably. So make sure to get everywhere that I have wax because I am effectively prone to ingrown hair. So it's nice to prevent that with some ex chemical exfoliation. And that's that. So this stays on your face for 20 minutes. And while this is drying, I'm gonna do the rest of my waxing routine. So I'm gonna wax my armpit and then wax the lower regions and then we're gonna move on to some nearing and a shower all right guys so we're gonna move on to the underarm portion of this so we'll get that started i'll give you a few tips about what i do and then i'll see you in a few for the rest of the video so normally i do this without any clothes on because then I won't get wax or the probability of me getting wax on my clothes is like less likely so keep that in mind if you're doing this that it's probably best to you know not have this on but since we're filming it's gonna remain on and the wax is much thicker now which is nice for body parts so then it's less likely to drip all over so I start in this motion the under arms are unidirectional in terms of the way the hair grows so it doesn't matter effectively how you put it on but this is just what I like so I normally do this in kind of third so I'll do this portion this portion and then the upper portion so We'll wait for that to dry and then I only do one armpit at a time because otherwise you're closing the other armpit to do the other armpit which 
is like a whole thing. So we'll just wait for this to dry. And it shouldn't take that long because the wax was definitely more hardened than the first time when I was doing my face. So this should be good to go. And then I just pull my arm back here to keep this somewhat taunt and then I just rip in the opposite direction that I put it in. So there's that. It looks like we got a good amount of hair. So that's promising. I'm gonna move on to the middle section. And I like the sectioned approach because it ensures that you get all of the hair. Because I find like if you try to do it all at once, you know, you might not get everything. But this way you're getting the entirety. So this part and this part usually gets missed somehow if you like try to rush it and do like large sections. So this is nice. And then once I'm done here, I'll give you guys a little bit more info about what I use to prevent ingrown hairs. Part of preventing ingrown hairs is to wax. I found that when I used to shave, like my ingrown hairs were insane. So I don't shave anything because it just does not work for me. So waxing has been huge to prevent ingrown hairs. And then I have some physical and chemical exfoliants that I'll talk about in a few once I hit the shower. Hey guys, so I just got out of the shower and I'm about to do my skincare routine and then my body hair routine. But clearly having to set up the camera, etc. afterwards, <laughs> my skin is dry. So let's move on to something moisturizing. So since I just did the that Drunk Elephant TLC Secura Mask. I don't put any acids on my face after that. I just use the moisturizers. This is the Lala Retro Whipped Cream. So I use like one pump of that. And then some of the organic cold pressed road rose hip seed oil from The Ordinary. So we'll do, I really do four drops. So, and just the one. And then I just mix them together. All right, so that feels much better already. So that's great. I think I mentioned before, it looks better now, even when my eyebrows aren't, you know, gelled up, they look decent. And yeah, so I'm loving the look of not having hair. And now we're gonna move on to body hair stuff. So I'm gonna be using, wait, let's talk about anti-ingrain ingrown hair stuff first because that's important. So what I normally use uh, to prevent hair, ingrown hairs on like my armpits and my private area is the Chroma Bride by PF Vanish or it's Vanish PF B Chroma Bride. And um, this works very well. You can get it on Amazon. I'll put links below. I've been using this for years. It's a roll-on, which is nice. For application, you don't have to touch anything. Nothing gets on your hand. Because I've used others in the past, like Skin 10, where you touch it and then your hand starts to peel. Where this is like a direct application, so nothing gets on your hand. So I like this. I'm out of this effectively. So I have some other things that I'm trying to use up first. So effectively, the PFB Vanish is just a combination of skincare acid. So it has BHAs in there and AHAs. So I had these Cosrx BHA Blackhead Liquid Powder and the AHA7 Whitehead Liquid Powder. So I wasn't using them on my skin because I used these years ago when I had acne. And now that I'm post Accutane, like I don't use them. I use like Strictly Drunk Elephant. So anyway. I'm using these up, so I combine these two um, and use them on my armpits and below. So I normally do, the armpits, I do like one pump of this, one pump of this, and then just dab it under my armpits. And then for the lower regions, I use like four pumps and like just tap it on the skin, obviously the exterior skin, if you know what I'm saying. So yes, that's what these two are for. And then in terms of my shower routine, I like to use some exfoliating products. Normally I use a scrub of some sort, alternating between that and then some sort of exfoliating body wash. So I'll show you what those are. So I've been using the Koi Sin Bard Scalp and Body Scrub. They also have the original version, but I got this doing my Sephora haul. You can watch that to see what else I got. But this is really good. I enjoyed this a lot. So hopefully they reintroduce it because um, I want another one. And then today I actually used the Koza Sport Good Body Skin. It has AHAs, enzymes for exfoliation. So this is what I used today because I'm out of the scrub. And then now that I'm done, I'm going to be using this TLC Glycolic Body Lotion. This is from Drunk Elephant and I've really been enjoying this. I've been using it all winter for my skin and I think it's made a huge difference. 
I also use this on top of my armpits and lower region. Like I'll do the pumps of these two things and then on top of that I'll like dab this on and dab the rest on like the rest of my skin. So this has been really nice. Yeah, so I definitely want another one of these. This has 10% AHA, which is a good amount is appropriate for the body so i'll do this on my skin and then to seal that off i use the beyond body oil by prima it's supposed to be a stress relief version it smells really good it gives you that spa like experience and i find like because it's winter like this alone doesn't keep me from getting dry so i need to like add this on top and these two are great together so that is what i'm gonna do and then um, i should be all set for the prep for my trip Hi guys, so it's the next day. I started packing last night, but I was like too exhausted to finish. And I just got home from work. So I'm gonna finish packing, but I'll show you guys what I did last night. So let's do that. So for this trip, I'm just doing a carry-on and a backpack. Normally I carry my Lomchamp tote with me, but because I'm gonna be carrying my laptop, it made sense to bring a backpack because there's a little spot in the backpack for laptops. And the only reason I'm bringing my laptop is because I'm trying to be productive with YouTube videos and editing while I'm away. Normally I don't do that, but so let's just get into what we have so far. All right, so I just have everything organized somewhat here. That's my coat, by the way. It's a Uniqlo um, ultra light down coat and I love these. This is like my second one. I have a short one, but I wanted a long one for this trip. So I went ahead and got it. They cost like a hundred bucks, which is a pretty good deal. So there's that one. I have it in a medium just for like so i can wear bulky items under it and then this is my suitcase so this is a ramoa suitcase it's like the carry-on version is like perfect it's super light and it fits like everything that you would need for at least two weeks minimum which is how long i'm gonna be away so so far i have mostly clothes packed and my shoes so clothes i have let's see here i have six long sleeve actually no it's five these no, it's six. <laughs> I'm failing at mat. So these here are long sleeve uh, turtlenecks or just like crew neck shirts that are light that I can wear under the jacket because I find when I'm walking around on vacation, I get super hot. So probably not gonna pack a sweater, but I'll probably wear a sweater like on the plane just to have in case I need it later. And then I have a couple long sleeve dresses for more than likely Italy because the temperature is gonna be 50 something degrees versus everywhere else is gonna be, you know, 30 degrees. So so a couple long sleeve dresses there and I have some warm leggings tucked in these boots to wear with those. And then I have, well, they're mostly stockings because they have a foot on them. These are the leggings. These are like dress leggings that I got from H&M. They're in my H&M haul. They're really nice. They look good and they're nice and thick. And then I have one pair of pajamas, uh, just one pair of knit pants. And then another light pair of leggings that I can wear as well with clothes or used to work out. And then just like a workout top because you know if i feel like i want to do yoga or something then i can do that and then i just have one bra packed so far and i normally have a list of things that i'm gonna bring so i'm gonna refer to that in a second i'll show you what it is what i will be doing once i i'm done with this video but this is the backpack this is just like a basic amazon backpack um so this is the, comp the compartment i was talking about with the for the laptop bag there. So I just have my scarf and then the bag that I'm going to be carrying around with me in the daytime. It's just a basic, I've had this thing for like years. It's a Marc Jacobs bag, but it still looks relatively good considering the age. And it has like a strap so you can wear it like cross bodied or you can use a handle or you can just wear it on one shoulder. It's pretty nice and it holds a good amount of stuff. So I like that. I thought about bringing my Chanel bag, but then I'm like, it's too, it's probably gonna be too small because I like to like carry my camera around and then water, snacks, etc. So this made more sense. 
So there's that. And then let's just quickly go over the list that I make for heading on vacation. All right, guys. So I have this list in the iCode part of the notes app for Apple. And it has like little check marks. You can check things off. But I have everything that I normally bring on vacation with me. I mean, some of these aren't applicable because, you know, like I made this list last time when it was like summer-ish. So I need to summer things but then most of the things are things that like you need regardless so that is the list there and then as I get things I'll like check them off so that's what I'm going to be doing here in a second once I'm done with you guys all right so that is going to be it for the pack get ready with me for vacation hopefully you guys enjoyed it or found something useful in it and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye